Hey, what's up guys, Gone Faithy here, and welcome to this Team of the Season Felipe Anderson review. As you can see, I managed to pack this one, which is pretty awesome. However, if you do want to pick him up, it does currently go for around 30k, and you can pick him up pretty easily off the market. This is one of the cards that isn't extinct, and for an 80 rated card, doesn't look too bad. 91 pace, 85 dribbling, and 75 shooting. 80 passing as well, which obviously isn't too bad. Now, I really thought Felipe Anderson should have been in team season most consistent. Didn't get it, but luckily he did get into the Serie A team season, which is very nice. Now, in seven games, I scored seven times with him and got one assist. And to be honest, getting seven goals with him was actually pretty impressive considering his finishing, which you'll see in a moment. But for now, the uh, physical attributes, as you can see, 93 acceleration, so he's very quick off the mark, very agile, but not the best strength on him. And um, yeah, 66 finishing. Not the best for a winger, and um, I won't lie, that does affect him a lot when you cut inside. But um, if you are going to go shoot with this guy, go for the power shots. His long shots aren't too bad, as you can see, 86, that's pretty good. But um, if you're going to uh, try and cut inside this guy, go for the power shots and beat the keeper like that because his finishing is very freaking inconsistent. Like, he will finish occasionally, and I did find that he um, finished some very odd chances but missed a few easy ones. So, uh, yeah, very inconsistent in my opinion. He's very quick, though, so if you like fast players, then uh, Felipe Anderson could be that guy for you. Very quick down the wing and uh, very agile. Great for cutting inside with, but not for finishing, which is... Uh, it's very frustrating because he gets down the wing so well, very agile, he'll get inside the box and then it'll come to the shot and uh, sometimes he'll screw it up completely. But look at the pace here, breaking away from Gurdin and slots it around the keeper very, very nicely with his weak foot, which was very nice. The guy's got high-low work rate, so he does push forward quite a bit, which is good because you can use him. You can uh, use him to link up your strikers, get them to the field, and uh, he will definitely create some chances as well. As you can see here, should have had another assist there. Not the best header from Iterbe. Didn't really expect him to um, get that one in, being a winger, but still, uh, Felipe Anderson creating the chances. Can't complain. Once again, creates a good chance here, gets the ball in the box, and Iterbe will once again, just absolutely whiffing the shot, and it's gone completely wide. But still, Anderson was creating these chances, and uh, he could have had a few more assists on his catch. Very nice. Scores this goal here. I don't know what this guy's keeper was doing, but uh, we'll take it. Good play from Anderson being in the right position at the right time, which uh, he is once again here, picking up the ball, gets himself inside, and uh, in the end, scores a really nice goal. Gets a bit lucky, to be fair, uh, winning the ball off uh, a poor touch from the defender, but still, we'll take it, and a uh, nice uh, shot from Anderson in the end, but as you saw, I went for the power shot, I didn't go for the finesse, because his finishing um, is pretty awful, to be honest, that is something to bear in mind, positives for me, he's quick, his dribbling's great, he's very agile, the shot power's good, long shots are decent, and uh, his agility is uh, pretty good, his crossing's okay, it's not spectacular, but um, it's enough for a winger in FIFA, in my opinion, negatively, He's pretty weak, his finishing lets him down a lot, and he has got a freestyle weak foot. But um, he's a fun player. He's not like a, the most reliable player. He's very inconsistent at times, but he was very fun to use, and uh, he's pretty cheap. So in my opinion, worth picking up and worth trying out. Anyway, guys, that's my review of Team Season Felipe Anderson. If you have enjoyed, remember to leave a like. Comment below who you like to review next. Have a good day. Adios.